but I'm just gonna keep recording, because I don't care. This guy has no problem just standing under him and whip up these little things that fly out at you when you hit him, but it's not a big deal. If you stay right under him, obviously they won't hit you. Yeah, he'll dive down like that for you. This guy's got pretty high defense, too, so they're gonna have to hit him a lot, and then he splits off into three. So we'll just keep doing the same thing. Now they'll start, yeah, you might want to start trying diagonal whips with this one, but the thing is, they still drop the debris, so... Ugh, okay. Stay away from me. I'm a dangerous man when provoked. Yeah, I had to be more careful because <laughs> I'm running out of life here. There we go. We did it. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Okay, so I believe I'm going to stop the video there, and that's going to be it. I don't know what's going on. It's death and destruction all around. Well, I might as well keep talking until we get through the end of this next cutscene, we can stop at the beginning of the next video, or the next level, because I can't very well stop here. Oh, I love this music! Okay, I will see you guys on the next video. Ta-ta. Howdy guys, welcome back to Let's Play Super Castlevania 4. This is Nintendo Capri Sun, and we are heading to the last level. Well, we're always heading to the last level, no matter what game we're playing, but in this particular video, we are down to one or two levels left. Actually, two. And then a whole boss gauntlet, much like a Mega Man game. Although this isn't really technically a Mega Man game, but I guess... Wait a minute, we're gonna get this guy from down here, because he's gonna be causing problems if we don't, as you can well see here. So these gears are obviously a throwback to Castlevania 3. Very cool stuff. So let's head on up the stairs. We just gotta get to the top of this bitch. Because we want to be done with this, I'm about sick of it, actually. Oh, that was a nice whip, did you see that? Kind of graceful. <laughs> You know, kind of loud and nasty. Anyway. So, up the stairs we go. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to get that boss fight at the beginning of this, so I can't go on for as long as I think I can. The time limit won't be 11 minutes this time. Throw your bones already. Dude! Thank you. Don't get knocked in the pit either. Try to get away from it before they have a chance to... Ooh, boy, that was close. Almost got impaled there. So this part's kind of tricky. What I usually do is just dangle like this. And when I'm getting close to the platform, just swing over slightly to it. Because if you jump too far, he'll gonna knock you back in that guy's gonna knock you in the pit. And that's the last thing you want. Oh man. Can't be bothered with this diagonal whipping today. I'm just not in the mood for it. Plus I got my legs crossed and it's causing my foot to go to sleep. It's so uncomfortable. I hate it when that happens. Boing, boing. Boing, boing. Oh, did you? Yeah, this part is kind of a pain in the ass, but, well, gotta do it right. Just got to survive. All that we can do is just survive. Yeah, baby. That's an awesome song. Don't care what anybody says. Okay, so right here we're gonna want to actually probably get into a swinging pattern here and try to... Right there, yes. Then we want to kill this guy. If I had a double shot, this would be easier, but well. Then we want to grab on again and continue our ride up the top. I always keep swinging here, so that way if I need to get off, I can. Otherwise, if you just dangle there, you might get hit and knocked into the pit. And we don't need that. We know how bad it is. We know how much pits suck. Don't let them have you. Dude, don't hit me twice. Thank you. Good lord, man. So we're almost to the top here, I believe. Okay, I guess we got some more uh, platforming to do here. So let's start swinging. Ooh. It's not a good spot for one of those guys. The, th the trouble with this guy right here is that, like, he's in a spot where if you try to whip him, you might inadvertently grab onto the platforms. So I'm gonna just use my boomerang to take him out. And we'll just have to settle for this video being one level long, I guess, because I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna waste my time with it. Dude, would you quit happening to dodge that? Thank you. 
Dude, what is going on over there on that movie, man? Looks like he's attacking the bad guy. I can't believe it's that far into the movie. Seems like it just started. Of course, they always cut out all the good stuff in the movies anyway. Like earlier, I was watching Goodwill Hunting, and like they had all the cuss words taken out of the movie, but they didn't have them taken out of the closed captioning. So it was really weird because they were saying different things on the movie than what it said in the closed caption. It's very weird. Thank God for that double shot. You have no idea how much that's gonna help against this boss. So long as we don't pick up any other weapons on the way there, I could just see them doing that. Well, this guy's gonna appear in kind of a random spot. It's uh, okay down there. It's fine. It's fine. Shoot, I threw him too soon there. But we want to stay close enough here that we can keep a steady stream of damage being dealt. So that way. Yeah, that's good. That's real good. Okay, the middle, that's not a good spot for him to appear. You want to stay close, because if you get knocked back... Yeah, you just you, you can't afford to get knocked in the pit. That's all there is to it. Oh, thank God. I thought I was dead there. Okay, well, we'll just stand right here and throw the boomerang up. Oh, good. I like this attack. Not as much range on this. Well, I suppose I could be whipping in the meantime, huh? It's just I don't want to get too active here. Looks like he's down to one or two hits, so that's good. So let's have it be... Yes! Whoa, that could have been a lot worse. Lucky thing it happened to be 9, 10 in the evening, huh? Yeah. Or is that 2.45 in the morning? Who knows? There's really no way to tell. The two hands seem to be the same length. Don't you hate that when clocks have two hands that seem to be about the same length, and you can't tell which one is the hour hand? More cool music. If you really watch closely there, that music is actually the music from the first level of Castlevania 1. Um, but it's split off into like six fourths time, I guess. I don't know. It's basically. A <laughs> Shoot, I didn't do that right. But, yeah. Yeah, you can actually fall here and grab the stairs just before the bottom, and then you can save yourself the trouble of having to fight those guys. So, uh, we're almost up to the boss gauntlet. Now, here, you're gonna have a bunch of, uh, bats coming out. I'm not gonna hit even the, I'm not even gonna hit these candles. Because, uh, if I do, there's a chance I might get another weapon that I don't want. So, just keep running, and they won't get you. They'll fly away before. They can get to you. You can try whipping down into the right for the candles if you want, but I'm not messing with it. I'm not even touching any of these candles. I ain't doing it, man. Oh my god, what is this? You know what? I'm gonna stop here because this is a bad spot, and I wanna save this for another video just in case I mess it up, which I probably will. So I will see you later. Thanks for watching, everybody, and take care.